A hibernaculum is a place where wildlife can winter over. Much of the wildlife around us needs a safe place to rest for the winter. Due to urbanization, many of their normal places, such as old trees and rocky crevices, have been removed. Another plus, hibernaculums are cheap to build using lots of scrap or discarded materials. They are built a bit differently for different species. This video will take you through step-by-step -step instructions for building one geared towards snakes, one for toads, and one for insects. A hibernaculum is a shelter that provides protection and suitable environment for animals to undergo hibernation or brumation. During the long and cold winter months, many animals enter a state of deep sleep to conserve energy. A hibernaculum offers insulation from extreme temperatures, humidity control, and protection from predators. These shelters allow animals to slow down their metabolism, reduce their heart rate, and survive until spring when they emerge ready to resume their normal lives. Snakes brumate underground in rock crevices and in the tunnels of other animals. You can create a place for them to safely rest during the winter months. Select a suitable location for the hibernaculum. Find an area that receives ample sunlight for warming during the day, but is shaded and protected from the wind. Ideally, choose a site with well-draining soil to prevent water accumulation. This is a crude image, but you will be making layers. Some materials you will need, shovel, sand or small gravel, rocks, cement blocks or bricks, logs, wooden boards, leaf litter or straw, soil and sand, varieties of native plants, and a piece of plumbing pipe. Use a shovel to dig a hole roughly two feet deep and four feet wide. If you live in zone five, then go three feet deep if you can. The size can vary depending on the desired capacity of the hibernaculum. Ensure the walls of the hole are gently sloping inward to prevent collapse. Place three to four inches of sand or loose gravel in the base. This will provide drainage. Then add a couple of inches of insulating material such as leaves or clean straw. Snakes will burrow into this material, providing insulation against harsh winter temperatures. To provide hiding places, position cement blocks, rocks, or bricks throughout. Make sure you press them in firmly so they don't shift and possibly injure an animal. Create small crevices and spaces for snakes to curl up and rest. Leave room so that several snakes can sleep in the same area. Cement blocks are great and you can place them on the flat side or prop them holes up. You can also place a bit of straw in the cement blocks or around them. Fill in with some medium-sized rocks to provide stability, but keep plenty of wiggle room. Add some plumbing pipe or small culvert sections. This just adds a nice entry and exit area and also natural airflow. Keep the pipe small around two inches in diameter, so not to encourage predators. If you are using white PVC pipe, take a file and scratch up the interior of the pipe. This allows for places for the snake's body to cling to and not just slide down the pipe. Lastly, add some soil and compost on top of the pile. In addition, this gives you a wonderful place to plant some native flowers. These plants attract insects and other invertebrates that serve as food for the snakes. As another nice touch, place some flat rocks alongside your hib hibernaculum to provide a spot for snakes or toads to soak up the sunshine. Okay, now we are going to talk about frogs. Many frogs brumate at the bottom of the pond. However, terrestrial frogs like this wood frog and American toad will dig down in the earth for winter. Toads like hibernaculums that are shallower and provide a higher moisture level. A light sand will allow them to dig down and remain covered, and obviously they would prefer to not share one with snakes. 
So like the snake one, we are creating layers. You will need a shovel or small garden spade, rocks and stones of various sizes, broken terracotta pots or roofing tiles, fallen leaves and twigs, logs or timber, soil or compost, mulch like straw or wood chips, and some leaf litter. Use a shovel or small garden spade to clear the area of any grass, debris, or unwanted vegetation. Dig a hole at least one to two feet deep within the cleared area. The hole should be large enough to accommodate your desired size and the number of toads you hope to support. The width, the width and length of the hole can vary, but a diameter of two to three feet is recommended. Place a layer of rocks and stones at the bottom of the hole. This will act as a thermal mass absorbing and retaining heat during the day and slowly releasing it at night. The rocks also provide stability to the hibernaculum structure. Next, add a layer of fallen of leaves, twigs, and logs, smaller logs, <laughs> on top of the rocks. This organic material will provide insulation and retain moisture, creating a suitable microclimate for your toads. Ensure you leave small gaps or crevices between the materials to allow for airflow. Add a layer of soil or compost over the organic material. This will help regulate temperature and humidity levels. Ensure that the soil or compost is damp but not saturated. Toads prefer a moist environment for brumation. Cover the hole with logs to create a roof for the hibernaculum. This will protect it from excessive rainfall and help retain heat. Layer the roof with additional organic materials such as straw or wood chips for extra insulation. Finally, scatter a layer of leaf litter over the hibernaculum. This will further enhance insulation and mimic the natural leaf litter found in the wild, making it a comfortable and familiar environment for toads. Keep an eye on it throughout the year, particularly during the hibernation period. Make sure the organic material remains damp and provide occasional misting if needed. Avoid disturbing the structure as much as possible. Tree frogs often brumate under bark. However, they are opportunists and will use bird and butterfly houses or an insect house for protection. You can also check out my video on hibernation and brumation and torpor. During the winter, many insects go into a state of dormancy called diapause, similar to hi hibernation in mammals. This helps them conserve energy and survive until winter weather returns. Insect shelters are essential for many beneficial insects to survive until spring. Ensure that the location receives ample sunlight and is protected from strong winds. Different species use different materials or structures depending on their needs. This might include wood, leaves, and straw. You can also add rocks or bricks to the bottom, which helps insects and also creates space for amphibians. Insects are small, and you can also build a small shelter, which is perfect for urban dwellers. Small hibernaculums like this one are available online. Building a larger insect shelter in your backyard is easy. Space four by four wooden posts, approximately one to three feet apart, in a rectangular or a square shape, depending on your desired size. Set the posts securely into the ground, ensuring they are vertical and sturdily positioned. Attach lumber horizontally to the posts to create the walls of your hibernaculum. Use a piece of plywood for the bottom, about two and a half to three feet off the ground. This will help discourage predators such as skunks that eat insects. Attach boards horizontally. You may want to create multiple floors or think compartments. Fill the base and shelves of your hibernaculum with small logs, creating a maze-like structure. Drill holes in recently cut wood. Place materials such as straw or dried leaves within the walls and in the pallets 
make a log maze. You can even use bricks or pieces of terracotta. Add some wire around the outside to keep materials intact and discourage predators. Do you want something that fits into your landscape? A stone retaining wall is a great opportunity to add shelter for a variety of insects, snakes, and amphibians. Use a variety of stones, blocks, bricks, and wood to make your retaining wall. Trimming trees or cleaning up down branches is a great opportunity to make a wildlife spot. Small birds just love these areas. Just pile up logs and branches in an out-of-the-way corner of your yard. Hibernaculums are a simple, often overlooked way to give back to nature. By providing winter shelters, you help sustain local wildlife populations that are vital to the health of the overall environment. You can make a difference in local populations of these important species. Please like and subscribe and check out my books in the description. Thanks for watching and I hope you take the time to help critters.